Welcome to this week's episode of Wild Animal Anachronisms. Today, we will visit the far inner reaches of Africa. Life at 147 years for an elephant means one thing. It has to end. Instinctual laws, thousands of years old, state that when an elephant reaches the age of 147 years, it must take the long journey back to the secret burial grounds of its ancestors. Oh, oh silly dentures. That reminds me, I'd better pick up another tube of adhesive before my trip. Oh! oh. <laughs> to finally be free from the pain of this arthritis. I'm ready to come home. Put the coffee on for me. How does this elephant know where the ancient burial grounds are? Maybe it's some DNA homing instinct encoded in her genes. Is it instinct, a higher force, or just plain luck that plays a part in Ethel making the right choice for dinner? Would you like chicken or beef for dinner? Lacto-ovo for me, please. Hmm? Just what do you think you're doing? I just got those back from the dry cleaners. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Grounds. They're, they're gone. Oh, well, I guess this living room is as good a place as any. I'll just sit here on the couch and wait. <sighs> Even the couch gets to go before me. Ooh. The large earthling does not look very happy. No, bud. It seems this pachyderm has come here to die. Poor dear. I don't think she's leaving till she dies. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me a five-ton animal has broken in downstairs and it is her intention to die right there in the living room? Do you know what this means? Let me see. Well, at the standard rate of decomposition, taking into consideration atmospheric conditions such as moisture levels, temperature fluctuations, fly and subsequent maggot infestations, my calculations suggest that we'd better get a lot of air fresheners, gas masks, and garbage bags. We've got to get rid of her. Why, she'll smell up the house. Have you ever tried to get the smell of pachyderm dust out of a carpet? We've got to do something! Yes, and the smell will certainly attract unwanted attention, possibly exposing us to discovery. You're right, Candy. This mammal must go. The mammoth must go. I have a plan. Here we have my transference transmitter, patent pending. <clears throat> With this device, any one of us can appear on the television screen as if our image were being broadcast over the actual TV station. Here, let me show you. Oh. So, we simply replace the elephant's remote control with the transference device. And one of us transforms into a television personality to convince her to get up and out of this house. Groovy! So, who wants to go first? I think we have a volunteer! 
Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a... It's a bar three. This should be interesting. Come on, friends. Life ain't so bad. Have a pizza and enjoy yourself. Mm -mm. One of these is just what you need to kickstart your life. I've lived long enough to see everything change from good to bad. Crime rates have soared, global warming, catastrophes of every kind, earthquakes, flooding, and not to mention the poverty. Oh, millions of starving people. <sighs> What's the point in kickstarting that? I think we need a new approach. She needs the influence of someone she respects. I've got it! Tarzan! All animals listen to the Lord of the Jungle. <laughs> Ah, the jungle. The stress-free jungle. There's no place like it on Earth. No worries for the rest of your life. Oh, don't tell me about the jungle. I've been there. I've seen the deforestation, the strip mining for gold. I swam in mercury-poisoned streams. You swam in mercury-poisoned streams? How do you think I got these bumps on my head? Spray your dew with plenty of hairspray. Don't worry about the ozone, folks. We have a brand new line of sun protection creams out. <laughs> Dry, wrinkled skin. Chipped and cracked oh. toenails. <laughs> your whole look is depressing. What you need is a total makeover. Voila! Sorry, mister. I would rather look like a haggard old pachyderm than to use all those creams and cures, treatments and tighteners. The beauty industry has used and abused us animals for too long. Animal testing, animal ingredients, oils, enzymes, aphrodisiacs, fur coats. Oh, the killing, the waste, the ugliness. <laughs> beauty. Join us next week on the Apocalypse Channel, where we'll visit, it's inevitable, the next ice age is just around the corner. And today, we are going to prepare a 75-pound lobster. <laughs> One pound for every year of its life. <laughs> there you are, Ethel Doll! I've been around the globe and back looking for you. We have so much to do. Come on, girl, we have boulders to move, trees to fell, cargo to carry. Let's go, girl! Don't you remember your training? Simba, Simba, mum, belly, yo, 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 mum, bossa. Come on, doll, do it for Haji. What are we to do? Everything we've tried has failed. It's up to me now. I've got to talk to her once and for all. It's our only chance. Tell me, my dear Pachyderm, why must you stay here of all places? This is our only home. If you stay here, we'll have to leave. I realize this cause is a serious inconvenience for you. But right here, in the handbook, it clearly states that at the age of 147, all elephants must go to 769 White Oak Road to retire! <laughs> but this is 768 White Oak Road. 769 is next door. At least she's where she belongs. Oh, dear. 
Can we keep her, Mommy? 